Greetings, everyone. I'm with Hamster. And I am in four. Yeah, we're back here and uh, got some more Monster Hunter for you. Are you sure? Yeah. I thought it was something else. Oh, no, it, it's uh, it, it's it, it's in fact uh, it, it's in fact a uh, Tokyo Jungle. Oh, right. Yeah, I knew it. Th this is just um, this this is the future. Uh, you know, the dystopian future that Tokyo Jungle spoke of. Right. Yeah. No, uh, <laughs> I have been playing. I have been playing that a lot. I've been trying to make my killer Pomeranian because. Uh -huh. uh, but no, this is Monster Hunter. I'm supposed to be talking about Monster Hunter, so. Uh, eh, we've been talking about Monster Hunter since the beginning. Yeah, but you know, whenever new things pop up, I I have to kind of explain about them. Like. Oh, uh, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, like. Uh, that that's kind of like a thing, and since I'm avoiding a lot of the refights, like I did in Freedom Unite, um, yeah, there's not that much room for just random talk. So uh, basically, he wanted to tell me something new, and I got some more rare commodities that I can buy, but I don't really have the commodities. Also, I can have him visit the Wyvernian hub. Hooray! Yeah, so Place now with actual good stuff. Mm -hmm. Now I have access to all of the areas he can go to. So that's wonderful. And, uh, oh man, Sharpened Fangs. I could totally use that multiplayer, but no. But this is what they can get in the Wyvernian hub. Those Captain Maxes and stuff like that. I really want those. I bet you did. Upgrade my fishing fleet, but, you know, I don't have, uh. kind of want those three and four star commodities first. Right. And, uh, oh man, this is when you first unlock the longsword. Oh boy. Time to break the game. Well, not 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 the game because I'll be using other weapons. So a couple of fights. <laughs> well, maybe not you specifically, but boy, long swords. Providing I don't suck at long swords. Oh, that's true too. Yeah, um, I'm not that great at long swords. I will already put that out there. Pretty easy weapon to use though. Uh, I do tend to get hit a lot just because I'm used to being able to block. Yeah, blocking's for chumps. Ah, uh, but I love blocking. Eh, go hammer. Yeah. Um, I won't be using the longsword just yet because I kind of need baggy hides. I wonder where I get those. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Oh, I got ten the, of them, too. Yeah, I, I, I got the gobu parts, I got the macolites, so, you know, once I got the baggy hides, it shouldn't be a problem. And, oh, well, you know, might as well do a little upgrading here, because I can. Now my uh, ribs are good. Yeah. Now my uh, sword and shield won't suck it as much. Okay. They still will, just not as much. No, it's got good water damage actually. With a yeah. elemental setup, if I'm fighting anything that's weak to water, that'll be pretty good. Yeah, uh, go good for you. And it's got a good. It's actually got a really good uh, base damage for sword and shield, to be honest. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. One of the better ones. And it's really easy to make. So that's just you know. I figured you know what? I'll show off a new sword and shield that sort of thing. I, I know in my exploration videos uh, I, I showed off the the Gobu Paralyzed Sword and Shield but it wasn't to use it, it was just because I don't know, just Sword and Shield is easy and mobile to just have with you if you're just doing exploration. Oh, absolutely. It's not like I plan on using it for anything special. Plus, uh, you know, showing off with the Bahabra, you know, it's, it's color-coded with the color scheme. It's purple. <laughs> so, you know. I'm I'm actually not going to use Bahabra armor in in actual fights because why oh. would you do such a thing? You get killed. Well, if you're good at evading every single attack, it's pretty good. And well, then you don't then you don't need armor at all. <laughs> and uh, I I got your favorite skill, feline skill, slugger. Oh, good for you. Yeah. At least you have the shield bash. Yeah, shield bash is actually does a lot of KO damage for some reason. More than you'd expect, yeah, and especially with slugger. But the problem is, you can never reach the heads for most creatures. Right. And even in like your long combo slash of attacks, there's even a shield bash in there, so you're constantly going to be doing like KO damage every now and then. Well, if you don't swap, switch it up, the there's a mix combo that's a bit longer with all slashes. <laughs> yeah, well, but I, I prefer just doing the regular combo because there is that extra shield bash attack. Right. And, uh... As you can see, we got access to a new area, as they've mentioned it looks before. Very warm. 
as I've mentioned before, we've uh, got access to the tundra. I'm sure you can imagine that we're going to be needing lots of hot drinks. Hot drinks? Hot drinks. The things you get millions of in the item box. Oh, man. More fun to just take a cold drink. Yeah, just, just uh, you know, sip lemon, cool lemonade in, in the middle of the uh, winter. Yep. Yeah, I, 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 I can see myself doing that. Iced tea in the middle of winter. It'd be easy to make. <laughs> Very easy. In fact, I could probably just make ice cubes in the in there made of tea. And then I could just lick it. Get my tongue stuck. <laughs> and, uh... Kind of want to mention, like, this is where they uh, start removing, uh... Also, I'm going back for the map, just because it's the first time I'm here, and I want to show off things. Also, I... No? I guess it was the torch. Damn it. Oh, torch. I remember incorrectly. Shame. No, oh, I think I know what it was. It's because uh, halfway through the level, I'm like, you know, I probably should have brought the map so I could show the what the area, the entire map looks like, you know? Right. No, it's because there was a subquest with the... We have to light torches. Well, as you were saying, there are no more shortcuts. You have found all of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Basically, this is where they start removing shortcuts from the maps. Like, they are not going to remove them from the old maps, but newer maps will not include shortcuts. Yeah, that's a shame. And those popo. Shortcuts are awesome. Mm. And, and those creatures, as you can see, popo, and I got a tongue. Delicious. I need three. So much more easy than the multiplayer when we, I think you need like six tongues. Indeed. Yeah. And, and yeah. tongues can kind of. It's just one of those things where. Sometimes you're lucky, and sometimes the game hates you. Right. Just get raw meat all day. Mm -hmm. Well, raw meat is useful. Sure. I could give it to Not Cha Cha, and you could burn it for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I, I, you know, I, I'd rather just make it myself with a double spit. That would be wise. Yeah. And, and put on a barbecue armor. There's no reason not to. And, uh, as you can see, it's a nice frozen wasteland. And, uh, we got some new ore we can get, too. I don't understand people complaining about it being too dark. No, I can see just fine. Like, every, everybody can see in the video, it's just, it can see just fine. It usually has a lot to do with if there's light going in on the screen, or if the screen is not very good or old, and, well, you know. And my TV's ancient, and I can see just fine. Mm -hmm. Well... I don't know, they, they probably really should... It's a combination of, in most cases, probably messing with the brightness and contrast levels on your screen and probably. doing it in-game. That could probably mess it up. Yeah, they probably have it really set really low. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Probably. But, you know, I can see just fine, even without the torch, but since we've got a subquest, it's always easy just to bring the torch and just do it. Always nice yeah, to have well. rewards. And, uh, well, the new ore we get from the Tundra is called Isisium, and, oh man, do I need a lot of it because I'm using, you know, I'm, I'm upgrading so many different types of weapons. Yeah. <sighs> you would not imagine the amount of Isisium and Pelagicide I've needed. If I was just focusing on one weapon type, uh, you don't need that much of it. But, oh man. But, you know, it also gives me chances for some shining charms and stuff like that, so I can't complain. Sure you can. No. Oh, uh... Oh, lucky you. Oh, and by the way, we have a... We have a guest. <laughs> but... Oh, dear. We're not gonna That's how I was first introduced to him as well. Yeah. It's actually kind of rare that he shows up in this mission. But it is indeed. It is an unstable mission, and he can show up. Uh, the the big monster you saw there is called Giganox. And uh, we, like I said, we won't tangle with him just yet. I, I've got a special setup and, and a present for him waiting. Yeah, I don't think fighting him with your leather armor would be very wise. No, also that. Like, he would probably kill me in two hits. Very likely. And if he's enraged, he'd probably kill me in three hits. Well, not three hits. Oh, yeah. He me <laughs> Man, he gets left. a lot weaker when he's enraged. Yeah, yeah. Clearly. And, uh, as you can see, we've got a remo slight remodel of, uh, the Jaggy. Indeed. With yeah. a special trick at that. Yeah. They're, they're, they're called Baggy, so... Well, if I want my Baggy hides for my longsword, I gotta kill these guys. 
probably handle that. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, there's a mission for that. There's a mission for everything. Oh, Except yes. for mining in the volcano. Yeah. There's no ticket quest to go there. I, I'm really disappointed. I... It's terrible, because you have to mine there all the time. Yeah, I know. It's like the mining place. I think they'd actually make a proper mission where you do it, but... I don't know. I guess they just wanted to make it harder for people to get uh, shards, but we'll talk more about shards later. In fact, I'll probably make a... Uh, use one of the videos to explain about it. Right. Not that it's that complicated. Mm -hmm. Also, another thing that uh, you can get from the uh, tundra, I believe it's called. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is called the tundra. It's just me being stupid. Um, is light crystals. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, you, you you don't really need that many of them, but occasionally you will need a couple here and there. It's not that bad. Uh, if you've gone mining for Isisium, most likely you'll have all the light crystals you need already. They're not that hard to get. And, uh, Lone Popo. Oh, man. That guy's so dead. Poor Popo. Well, it's his fault for being slow and just walking there. Plus, I need his tongue. You sure do. You'd think it'd be easier to cut a tongue out. But apparently <laughs> no. Uh... Took everything else and just left the I'm tongue. I'm just gonna take the meat and the hide and you know that tongue. Uh, it's too small. Yeah, you need a giant popo tongue. Yeah, yeah. Want to get more bang for your buck? Yeah, exactly. And that's why you carve them out of babies. Random. Also, it's the hunter union rules. You can only carve twice on popos. Yeah. It's to uh. Um. Uh, well, the person who made that rule was drunk when he made it. He's, <laughs> he's a little deep in the sauce and. And the thing is, he didn't want to change it because he didn't want to embarrass himself. Right, so that's what the carving limits are. Mm -hmm. The rule that they just don't want to take back. Yeah. But, you know, it's a nice easy quest, and if you need Assisium, this is the mission to go for. I didn't really cut anything out of this mission because, well, it's a new area. And it's also an easy mission. Yeah, yeah. It's not hard to do. And, it's also oh. fairly pretty. Mm -hmm get to see the sights. I, I do want to know the fixes behind those uh, those icebergs. They're moving fast. No kidding. And they're huge, too. Shouldn't... Sh isn't it like 60 or 80 percent that's supposed to be submerged? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's, well... Yeah, that must that's be probably not a river. It's probably like the ocean, and yeah. there's a big whirlpool in the middle. Probably. So they're like whirling around. Um, man, I got so many items. Yeah, not bad at all. Yeah, and I even got a few charms. Uh, unfortunately, nothing too exciting, but, you know, just... Oxygen like, plus one. Oh yeah. Just what I wanted. <laughs> Hold my breath for not much longer underwater. Yeah, if you add plus nine more somehow. Oh, boy. I can already hold my wa breath underwater for about five minutes before I start losing health slowly, like I'm out in the desert in the warm weather. Yeah. Oxygen, not a good skill. Yeah. If something giving you negative oxygen doesn't matter. It's not pleasant, but I wouldn't go out of my way to remove it if you can get something, you know, upgrade a different skill. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... I mean, like, with, with the minus, you have, like, three minutes instead of five. Mm-hmm. I... It's really easy to get air back. Yeah, you... Half the time you do it by accident. Uh -huh. And even then, like, missions where you do an underwater fight, they will give you oxygen supply items, which you can also use as well. Right. The thing is, I, I ma might worry more about oxygen if it was something like, if you run out of oxygen, you just die. You pass out. <laughs> then I might worry about it some more. But even then, yeah, it's but even then it'd be really easy to avoid. Mm -hmm. Especially since it starts warning you when you have, like, a minute left. Mm -hmm. Like, oh no. Exactly. So, uh, again... I'd say it's one of the more useless skills in the game. Absolutely. Right up there with some of the feline but skills. But I'm also kind of happy that they do give you, like, the five-minute limit of holding breath under the water as standard. Yeah, uh, you're you're busy when you're fighting something underwater. You don't, don't have to worry about it too much. It'd be obnoxious to have to go up for air every minute. And, uh, got Lucky Cat. Yeah. Nice. More items, well, a chance for it. Right. It's always nice. Mm -hmm. Got some courage and got some gather. Unfortunately, I could have used gather in the previous mission. That would have been nice. 
Ah, uh, you did fine. Yeah, I know. Just it. I, I want more items, just because it it would have saved me so much trouble. And the future. Oh, look, it's the baggy quest. Yeah, like I said, there's a mission for everything, and this quest here, I'm gonna show it off, but I'm not gonna actually do it in video because it's. The Jaggy's gonna die in under five minutes, and then it's just a regular Barath fight. Yeah, it's nothing you haven't seen before. Exactly. You know, like I said, I, I, I was gonna avoid the refight type stuff. I'm, I'm gonna avoid the refight stuff until the six star missions. Yeah, those are a bit different. It's yeah. not, you know, those are one actual challenges. They're both dangerous. Mm -hmm. But we'll, we'll talk about that when we, you know, we'll, we'll talk a lot more about it when we're actually in the missions. And by talking, yeah, exactly. we'll probably talk about a lot of other things. It won't be very hard to explain why they're difficult. Yeah. The the Slate 20 Baggy missions, this is probably the best quest if you need baggy hides. Just just regular baggy hides or scales. It's not a bad mission to do it in. Plus, if you got a binding pick with you, you could probably also gather some extra assisium here and there. You know. Yeah. Not bad at all. Yeah, hit two, two birds with one stone and all that. Of course, you generally don't need small monster parts very often. No. No, you don't. But, you know, you, you'll probably... I, I'm already going to spoil this now. There is a great bank. You could already guess that, just because. Just because there was a mission called Leader of the Ice Pack? Yeah, also that. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, well, the thing is, where there's Jaggy, there's a great Jaggy. Where there's Baggy, clearly there's going to be a great Baggy. Yeah, it's not exactly a surprise. Mm -hmm. So, uh, here's what Baggies do. Um, here's what they do special. They're a bit bigger than Jaggies. They have a lot more health than regular Jaggies. Uh, run a little faster, do a little bit more damage, but here's the annoying part about them. They will occasionally spit at you, and if the spit hits you, you fall asleep. Yay, sleep spit. And this isn't that big of a deal when you're just fighting Baggies normally, but right. if you're fighting a big monster and you get slept, then the monster's next attack gets like a damage modifier against you, just like you do when you fight a monster that's fallen asleep and you place a bomb right. in your face. When they wake you up with an attack, it does extra damage, and the AI knows this and goes for the most damaging attack it has. Yeah, yeah. That, Very deliberately. The game... The game knows. Uh, but there's ways to avoid being slept. Like, if you're doing multiplayer, your partner can go and give you a kick. Actually, Cha-Cha's sometimes will do it, too, for you. Depending on the mask. Well, yes. <laughs> uh, I said sometimes. Yeah. It, there are... You know, there's a mask we'll be seeing in a bit. It's basically the mask I always go to. Right. I think I know which one. Yeah. yeah. The barbecue mask is not that good, to be honest. No, it really isn't. No. Uh... If you, if you want him to focus on a lot of ranged attacks, it's pretty decent, but his ra Why would his you? attacks are really bad, and especially his ranged attacks. Yeah. And plus, you know, he gets knocked out a lot easier with the grill mask because he has less health when he has it on. So, I, I don't know, I just, I don't like the mask, but I usually just put it on when I get it, and then when I get to something better, I just switch it out. Right. Really, what you should—if you want to, you know, like go for like the best mask available—you should probably just stick with the bunny mask. Probably, because having him fight isn't really helpful no. at all. Uh, and plus, the bunny mask—it basically works like a psycho serum. Yeah, that's pretty useful sometimes. If the monster—if it's something like Kuropeko or something like that—that that can get away from you really easily, or if you don't catch up to where they start, right? Then they could be a pain to find. Not that Psycho Serums are that hard to get, but still. Actually, in this game, Psycho Serums are a bit harder to get. You can't make them. Yeah, I, I checked it up, there's no uh, combined recipe for Psycho Serums in this game. Yeah, but... I can't buy them from the store, either. Yeah, uh, right, not offline. <laughs> no, I, right. I have to go to... That's different, then. I have to Fair go enough. online, and then I have to go to the tool store, and it has to be the yeah. special deal, one of the special deals, where he has everything for sale to get right. Psycho Serums. But in single player, well, I don't exactly use them very often. So, single player, you actually have to, I believe, trade for them with the Argozi captain. Also, the Veggie Elder gives you to them fairly often. Ah, uh, he, yeah, that's true. But usually, he just gives me everything else, like potions. Well, he's a spiteful. 
little asshole. Yeah. So, I mean, of course. I, I have, besides, going to the Veggie Elder in this map, I, I don't know, like, you usually have to go out of the way to get to the Veggie Elder most of the yeah, time. Yeah, not here. In the desert, he's easy enough, because you're right next to him when you start. No, well, he's not that bad here. I think the worst one's probably the Flooded Forest. No, I, I just don't like climbing. It's, it takes time. Fair enough, fair when enough. When I could just, you know, catch up with the monster immediately and, uh, where he starts. But yeah, if you really want Psycho Serums, the way to do it is just visit the desert. Talk to him and then, you know, quit out or whatever. Exactly. Or have items for trade and then you'll usually get... You don't even need to trade it with him. He'll just give you some. Well, the thing is, crystal bones are kind of worthless. Well, that's true, too. Um, but once you really get started, they're, they're really... They're good for starting money, but... Later on, they're not that good for money because I could uh, I could do a capture mission, I could capture a Kuropeko, and I'd get about if I don't sell any of the parts and I don't die, I'll get like four or five thousand zennies for just doing the mission. Man, he knocks is just everywhere. Yeah, I... I know. He's just he's hunting me down. He doesn't like me. Can you really blame him? Yes, I can. He's a jerk. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, Giganox is kind of a jerk, alright. I'll say this much. Um, when I fought him, I was surprised how well it went. <laughs> oh, I've heard about that. Yeah, yeah, I already told you. I was like, oh man, I did all this preparing and, and stuff because I knew he was going to be an asshole. And then I, then I more or less aced the fight. Yeah. Spoilers. I actually <laughs> did the fight. Oh no, like you could not Oh guess. no, the horror. Yeah, no, I, I think people know already by now that I, I win the fights when I do a video. Yeah, pretty much. It, it'd be kind of a, you know, it, it'd be a dumb fake out if I was like, oh man, I'm fighting this monster, you waste 30 minutes of your time to watch me lose. Now, uh, <laughs> next time I, I do a video, I, I'll totally, you know. Right. Um, I, I, I wouldn't do that to you all. I wouldn't. If I was gonna do like a fake out thing, it'd be like in like the first five minutes where I cut out most of the bullshit, you know, like, oh, mission failed. Now let's get to the real fight. Something like that. I'm just waiting for you to pull a fake out on like Caduceus or something. Yeah. Uh I, I don't think I'll do a fake out with that just because of the amount of time it takes. That's exactly why I think you would. <sighs> no, no. I'm not that big of an ass. I, I can see it was like a 2D platformer game. You can easily do a fake out <laughs> without uh, like taking half an hour to an hour. But no, here. Basically, I, I through just farming these buggers because I need baggy hides for everything. Uh, right. You know, making the armor. The armor's actually surprisingly good. Not bad. Yeah. Um, making the armor, making weapons, that sort of stuff. This spot here is pretty much the zone you want to farm baggies in. Once you've yeah. cleared out a couple of uh, different zones, this will have like infinite spawns, and they just come rushing out of a crack like crazy. They just line up for you to stab them. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I ended up doing, and kind of sad that I didn't figure that out uh, earlier because then I probably could have cut a lot of time out of this. I, but you know. It's great when you have uh, Giganox hunting you down every single mission. Yeah, you don't want to stick around too long. Yeah, no, that, that's why I'm saying, like... Also, Giganox doesn't come to six. No, but here's the thing. I've had him on video recording hunting me down every bit, single mission, so I kind of like... I didn't want to give this mission up, uh, not mission up, but this video up, because it's pretty good. You have, yeah. I have Giganox just showing up, saying, hi, how's it going? Yeah. Uh, when I want a sorbet, I can make one out of you. Yeah, man. When we finally get to the actual fight with him, it's going to be cathartic. Finally, kill the stalker. Yes. Also, <laughs> punch Chacha with the sword. There it. Yeah. Also, is that really punching? Well, um... I could punch him with my shield. That would work. Yeah. Ah, oh, that lovely voice. <laughs> Oh, some of the voices are great. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I, just, like, I was going through the voices, and I was like, oh, man, that's anime as hell, that's regular, that's normal, that's bearable, that's not bearable. Oh, God! God, I <laughs> this voice. 
<laughs> that that's yeah. pretty much what a kind of the way I chose the voice. I believe it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> L- l- luckily, the voice doesn't come up that often. I remember when I, like, I just rolled a dice, and they're like, okay, it's a female character, first time I played Monster Hunter Tribe, because I don't give a shit. Like, right. I just roll a dice when it comes to gender, because I don't care either way. It's just, it's just a model. It's just a, I'm more interested in the gameplay or the story. You know, that's right. Stuff. But, I-, I got the voice that sounded the most like a parrot and by a parrot i mean it's the ca- character when when she does attacks it, she squawks <laughs> and when i was playing it my mother would always come in the room is like do you have a parrot in your room and the dogs would go crazy cuz they think there's like some sort of animal in my room they hear this squawking and screaming <laughs> and it's amazing that's pretty great mhm yeah, that's pretty dumb. Um, but yeah, so I did some quick combining, got some catalysts. Catalysts are wonderful. And, uh, you know, just uh, taking a look around, scraping a few points together from items. I don't really need those quality sponges. Bam, farm upgrade. Oh, yeah. Get it right there. Hell yes. And now we've got our farming fuels max out. I've got three fuel. Okay. Yeah. You can really put those felines to work. Yeah. I love making them suffer. And I got a third feline. Indeed. Man. Now they've all come back. This is about when the farm is getting to, like, its peak of productivity, I guess, if you will. You got felines, and almost everything is leveled up at this point. I think the only thing I'm missing um, might be to finish off the honey farm. Uh, did you max out the mushroom box yet? I think so. I, I don't recall. And, yeah, whatever. And he found something in the fields. It's a pot and it smells funny. Thanks. Oh, and you can put it on your head, of course. Yeah, and uh, now I can make a new mask. This is the mask I was talking about. The mask I always end up using, the mystery pot. Ah, uh, yeah, mystery pot's fun. It is the support mask. Chacha focuses mainly on support and more or less avoids attacks. And this guy is terrible. He can't even catch fish. So, he, he's resorted to being a farmer because vegetables won't run away. <laughs> Uh, hey, I'm just, you know, thinking. It, it pays the bills. But how how the mighty hunters have fallen. Oh, be thy names. Uh, so many, so many things. Uh, so many word plays on vegetables, herbs, and spices. Oh, absolutely. Uh, they're just going to call him Tuber. <laughs> there we go. Uh, no, no. I, I'm so tempted to quote the "What a tuber," but I'm uh, not gonna really gonna make a "What a tuber" joke. Too late. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't make a joke about it. I wanted to make a well, joke about it, but no, I'll, I'll resist. <laughs> uh, the mystery pie. It already starts with two slots. It's pretty good. And uh, yeah, yeah. I'll uh, I'll show more off of what the mystery pot could do and explain about it when when I actually do a mission with him. But the effect is pretty silly, but the real benefit is that he focuses on support. Yeah, that's really the biggest benefit. And uh, hey, that guy's back. Music got all serious all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. Well, it tends to get serious when you're talking to him. Yeah. Oh, looks like I can get a little payback. For that time that he would refuse to kill you. Yeah, god damn it, that <laughs> jerk. Oh. How dare you? How kill you dare he that? not one shot me? <sighs> How dare he only flinch me with his just his bodily not even attacks, but you know, when a monster moves around, they their hitbox touches you, you 
just get flinched and take a chip of damage. Ugh. How dare he only chip my health away? Oh dear. Oh. Well, now you can give him payback. Yeah. Make him flinch. Uh. I really don't want to know about his first girlfriend, though. The only one that didn't actually need to know those details. Must have been ages ago. Yeah. Oh man, a fighting chance. No, no, I'll do better than a fighting chance. I'll, I'll, I'll destroy that guy. I'll crush him beneath my leather armor. Uh, you might not want to go in leather. Are, are you sure? Because, you know, it's not electroconductive. <laughs> yeah, well. I'm, I'm just thinking the head, man. And, uh, you know, the Gilded Sweetheart's gonna be like, yeah, you, you could totally take him out. and You've got access to missions. So in case you didn't talk to the old guy there, the, the big bubble over his head, she will tell you, hey, things there. Yep. Pretty much repeats what he says, only in a clumsy, obnoxious fashion. Wonderful. I still hate you, Guild Sweetheart. I want my snacks back. Break your break your legs. Ah. Oh. Where's the snacks back? Now now. Resist the urge. Oh, but I still but I don't Oh I don't like you. Probably gonna be back for ultimate. Uh Oh well, I'll I'll just have to live. <sighs> and yeah, she's being serious for a moment, but no, your fly's down. Ha ha, made you look. Uh... We here don't even have proper zippers on there. I know, pants. I know. That's, That's no. probably why I looked. Wait, what? Wait, what's a fly? Yeah. I don't. Anyway, we'll see you next time. See ya.